Ten long years ago, I was part of the original Robot in One Weekend crew, a group of alumni that got together on the weekend of kickoff for First Tech Challenge and built a robot to meet that challenge. The goal was to provide some inspiration to people, talk about strategy, and just sort of kickstart teams as they got ready on their journey to build their First Tech Challenge robot. I did that for a few years, and that was brought to you by the same people who continue to bring you Robot in Three Days for First Robotics Competition. If you're not familiar with them, I highly encourage you to go check out their YouTube channel because they make some great content. To be honest, I miss it. I miss getting together and knocking out a robot as fast as we can, but there's just way too much else going on the weekend of kickoff now for me to be able to do that. But in that spirit, let's take a look at a few videos of teams that have gone on to create robots within the first week of kickoff and see what they came up with. Our first video comes from Team 26300, Team Anomaly, which is a rookie team from Allen, Texas. That is a nice looking intake. Side roller intake. Okay. Very interesting. Be interested to see this season how many teams go, go with a side roller versus a top roller or something else. Even at a weird angle like that, it's able to pick up the sample. So that's nice. Teams obviously at this stage may not have received their fields. So I like the uh, basket at the right height there just for practice. Someone holding it up even? Perfect. That's how you do it when you don't have a field yet. Some nice little wrist action there at the end. Very nice. It looks like that robot could have the speed to score a lot. You know, obviously it's going to take a lot of driving practice from any team this year, but I think that robot is well on its way. That's a great three-day effort. Well done. Our next video comes from Team 20077, the Indubitables from Omaha, Nebraska. Specimen scoring. I think we're going to see a lot of Mechanum Drive this year. If teams are able to afford it, it seems like the way to go because there's a great big open field to play with. That seemed like a really efficient grab. Nice. We're using surgical tubing here, sort of top loading surgical tubing. Two-stage loader and dumper. I like it. And you've got the servo on the side, too, using the same arm to grab the specimens that are, have the clips on them. Seems like it's working so far. That's pretty efficient in and out. Nice. It looks like that bucket is custom-made to only pick up one, so you don't have to worry about accidentally grabbing two samples or anything like that. That's obviously going to help when you're rushing through a match and you may not be able to see what you're doing. Uh, I think this is gr another great effort. Well done. Next we have Team 7974, Great Scott, from Mequon, Wisconsin. All right, we're playing a practice match now, which is a great way to show off what your robot is actually able to accomplish. Just the tele -out portion, because after all, it is only the first week. We are scoring hooked specimens on the high rung. That's obviously great for the first week of building here. Another mechanum drive. We're going to see a lot of linear slides, I bet, because you got to obviously reach in to grab the samples and reach up to score them on the rungs or into the baskets. Uh, I think it's interesting, though, except for ascending at presumably the end of the match, those linear slides don't have to carry so much weight this year. Definitely not as much as they might have in past years. Within a minute, we've got quite a few specimens scored on that high rung. That is, that's a good deal. And you know, I think human players are going to have a lot of work to do this time. It's not just introducing things to the field or taking things from the field, but you know, that back and forth motion. That takes some time. It looks like that grabber is at just the right point too, so you can drive straight up to the basket and just drop it, and you're going to be in the right position every time. Anything you can do to make your driver's life easier, that's worth it.
and going for reaching for that low rung to get some points there at the end. Also very nice. Well done. I appreciate the efficiency of this robot for one week of building time. Wow. Nice. Next, we have a build from some alumni of Team 7129 Robo Raiders from Lebanon, Illinois. I like those uh, wheels with the fingers on them that are going to grab the insides of the samples very nicely. That is a fast moving slide and that is only going to make you earn a lot of additional points in a match. I see that the motor is a little bit set back. I wonder if that was because of weight. Just trying to get the moment of inertia a little bit closer to the bot. Specimens as well, grabbing them from the side of the field. You know, I haven't really thought about, you know, picking specimens up from the ground versus from the side of the field, but it seems like that's going to be the more efficient way to do it is just grab it off the side. I love seeing robot in three days, robot in one weekend style fields when you don't have the field elements. Well done. You got everything at the right height. It may not be the most stable thing out there, but you're able to practice with it. So you got what you needed. 3D printed samples. Perfect. I know that this is sped up, but still, that's pretty efficient scoring. And you're going for a hang as well. I'm a little worried about how much that is bending right there at the end, but still, for a what looks like to be a level 2 ascent for the first week of building, well done. You're off the ground. It counts. That is a really efficient handoff between holding the sample in there and the bucket going up. I really like that. Again, another great effort for just a week after kickoff. Man, it's so energizing seeing what you're able to accomplish in just a short amount of time. Well done. To wrap up, let's take a look at the stream of the Robot in Three Days build from GoBuilda. I want to know what wheel that is. I don't know that this is necessarily the robot that uh, they were actually building, but it's the one on the field right now on the stream, so... Another top roller design to grab the samples. Okay, seems... I mean, you grab that one pretty well, pretty easily. I can't quite see what's driving that top roller, but I, it, I get the feeling that this arm is a bit lighter than some of the others we've seen, which can only help. Nice. I mean, you're able to reach up to that top basket just fine. Looks like you've scored quite a few, so a little more iteration, a little more speed and driving practice. You're going to be scoring up there. And I really appreciate the, it looks like there's a, a little roller on there too. Again, to help from scraping up the field tiles as you're going in and out for those samples. Please consider that as you're going through. You know, it could be something as simple as, you know, a nice swooped piece that will help the item help your arm to glide on the tiles or a roller like that just to you know keep the metal from sort of gouging into the tiles uh, i really appreciate that because not only does it help you drive by not getting stuck in the tiles as you're trying to go forward but it also helps to avoid some penalties for field damage so thanks for that you know, I'm not some expert in building robots or anything, or especially not building robots quickly, but it is just so much fun to see what everyone's able to accomplish within the first week of kickoff. That's not necessarily what people should be focused on. Obviously, we have a whole season in front of us. and But if you're in a region with leagues, for example, what these teams have been able to accomplish is definitely League Meet 1 material. You can start getting your League ranking points on the board pretty quickly. And obviously, it's only going to get better from here. If you have another Robot in 30 Hours or Robot in 3 Days type video that you enjoyed this season, please leave the search term in a comment so that I can go check it out as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the field.